First responders spent the morning and some of the afternoon cleaning up in parts of the area. Ross Kadati has the latest on those efforts, plus another worry in the wake of the storm. He's live in Somerset County with the details. Ross. Yeah, we'll tell you all about that other concern a little bit later. I am in Jennerstown, Somerset County. I'm just over the mountain, Laurel Mountain from, let's say, um, Lachlan Town and so forth. Just to give you an idea where I am. Behind me, you see Route 30. It is cleared. It was not that way this morning. This is what our meteorologists were talking about last night in the higher elevations to the east and north. This is an ice ball, and what you see behind me is not snow. It is ice. They called for ice, and that's exactly what happened, bringing down power lines as well as trees. Let's start in Fayette County. This picture taken earlier this morning showing both lanes shut down along State Route 40 near Uniontown. Drooping, ice-laden power lines pulled down further by a tractor trailer. A vehicle wrecked into the same power lines and pull. The driver of that vehicle suffering minor injuries. One of a few accidents and one of many lines taken down by the ice glaze covering much of the area. In Derry Township, massive PennDOT plow truck cut off Industrial Boulevard, not far down the road, one of the scores of trees down by the combination of ice and wind. The most significant ice we found was at the top of Laurel Mountain between Lachlan Town and Jennerstown. Route 30 East and West were for the most part clear, but signs, guardrails and vegetation glistened encased in ice. Jennerstown, Somerset County, looks like it got a few inches of snow, but this is actually accumulated ice from the storm. The only thing clear of it, Route 30. Power crews, meanwhile, and other utilities were busy trying to reestablish power, cable, phone, trying to get services back to customers. The concern now is what came after the wind. High winds and heavy ice conspiring to potentially make the situation worse. All right, now let's give you an update on the power. Last we checked from West Penn Power, there were about 100 customers without service. We mentioned that wind. That number could potentially go up if we have a limb or a tree go down on some more wires, but right now that's what we're talking about. And according to PennDOT, right now only three, basically three roads are cut off in both Fayette County here in West, or actually over in Westmoreland County, Somerset County, it looks like the roads for the most part have been cleared from any debris. But again, this wind could change that whole thing if it gets kicking a little bit later tonight. Live in Jennerstown, Somerset County, Ross Gadotti, KDK News.